Hey, God bless you out there, YouTube, Spiritual Christ, Cyberspace, in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, for glory be God. New prophecy from the throne room, prophecy on Israel, Yom Kippur, war with Iran, 2012. Israel's made a deadline with the United States of America that they go to wait till September the 25th, 2012. Why are they doing that? They know that God of Israel will fight for them that September the 26th, 2012, the Yom Kippur, Ezekiel chapter 38, 39, the Israeli military don't have to fight. The God of Israel gives the battle of the Lord victory in Jesus. And they know that Antichrist Obama We'll join him because after election, he won't help him. He will help attack Iran on September the 26th, 2012, because uh, he don't want to lose the Jewish vote. And the Jewish people know that. And God's going to get the glory and victory in Jesus. And we're seeing this uh, prophetic Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Yep, Kepler is the day of atonement, the Jewish high holy days, and when the high priest went to the holy holies, to where the ark of the covenant was at. But praise God, we don't need the ark of the covenant today. We don't need a priest, priest, dinner tea for us. We got Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah. Jesus, is our spiritual ark of the covenant. So I'm gonna read out of here uh, in the Holy Bible today, in Leviticus chapter 16. Starting with verse 20. And when he had made an end of reconciling the holy place, the tabernacle, or the congregation, and the altar, he shall bring the live goat. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat. This is the day of atonement. This is Yop Kepper, the high holy Jewish holiday. Lay his hand upon the head of the live goat and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all their transgression and all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat, and shall send them away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. This is a scapegoat right here. And the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities upon the land not inhabited, and he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. And Aaron shall come into the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall put off the linen garments which he put on when he went into the holy place and shall leave them there. And he shall wash his flesh with water in the holy place and put on his garments and come forth and offer his burnt offering and a burnt offering of the people and make an atonement to himself and for the people. And the fat of the sin offering shall he burn upon the altar and he that let go the goat for the scapegoat shall wash his clothes and bath, bathe his flesh in water, and afterward come into the camp. And the bullock for the sin offering, and the goat for the sin offering, whose blood was brought into make atonement in the holy place, shall carry forth without the camp, and they shall burn in the fire their skins and the, their flesh, and they're done. And he that burneth them shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. And this shall be a statue forever to you, that in the seventh month of the tenth day of the month ye shall inflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you, that ye may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. It shall be a Sabbath of rest upon you, and you shall afflict your soul by the statute forever. And the priest whom he shall anoint, and whom he shall consecrate, to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead, shall make the atonement, and shall put on the linen clothes, even the holy garments. And he shall make an atonement for the holy sanctuary, and he shall make an atonement for the tabernacle of the congregation and for the older. And he shall make an atonement for the priest and for all the people of the congregation. And this shall be an everlasting statue unto you to make an atonement for your children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And he did as the Lord commanded 
Moses, and may God add blessing upon his holy word. That is the day of atonement, the high holy Jewish holiday, a yap capper. And that's what's going to happen. You're going to see this Bible prophecy of the Israel's yap capper war with Iran 2012 be uh, fulfilled for the glory be to God. That Obama will join Israel. Israel will put pressure on them because Obama don't want to lose that Jewish vote for his election, his re-election for being president of the United States. And Obama knows if he don't go with Israel that he could lose the election. I believe it's going to be close, but I believe Antichrist Obama will be elected to his second term as president of the United States. And Israel will attack Syria. I had this dream in July 2006 on an earlier video here on YouTube. And they will want Damascus, uh, Syria off the map in the prophecy Isaiah chapter 17, 1 be fulfilled. And the United States will go with Israel when Israel attacks Syria, nukes them off the map. The United States of America will nuke Tyran, Iran. It will be a joint nuclear attack and wipe it off the map. And this is beginning in World War III in Ezekiel chapter 38, 39. The war drums are beating. Time is short. This is the time to turn your life over to Jesus Christ and let him become your personal Savior and your Messiah. There's not much time left. Some are here. In one more month, it'll be gone and fall be here, the Lord of the harvest. But I believe that this attack could happen on September the 26th, 2012. On Yom Kippur Day, Israel attacked Syria and the United States of America We'll attack Iran. We'll see this happen. Bible prophecy being fulfilled. So this is your time. Don't let the war drums scare you. Don't let the nuclear war uh, scare you. Or see the mushroom clouds scare you. The, the whole wide world is in God's hands. Everything's going to be okay. Just hold on a little longer. But this is your decision. Some of you have been running from the Lord too many years. I've been hitting the streets of Pickneyville lately. I've been getting rejection from men and women of God. Uh, uh, from I mean, let me correct myself. I've been getting rejection from men and women sinners out there. They don't want to hear the Jesus, you know. They don't want to uh, hear the Jesus word. They don't want to hear nothing about Jesus because the time is short. Last days, I scoff was a promise of Father. Don't be making fun of but Jesus Christ, the Savior and Messiah. But, you know, there's not much time left. I pray for that woman last week and that man that rejected me. That Jesus, you do a miracle. Get your hook in the jaw and repent in Jesus' name. And today in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, this is your hour. This is your time. This is a new beginning. Turn your life over. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Say this prayer with me right now. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ will forgive you for your sin and die for you. He had to shed his blood so you could have life. He had to die. Without the uh, shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Say this prayer with me today. In North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, for the glory be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord of Lords, I come to your throne boldly. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today. Right, George and Betty uh, Kelly's channel on YouTube. Give us a praise report, a public confession. Uh, we got an address on the profile page. Email us. The good news you said to Jesus Christ is your personal savior. Pray for George and Betty Kelly here in uh, Least of Butter Ministry, Pignanville, Illinois. We'll be praying for you. We love you today, but most important, Jesus loves you. Turn your eyes upon Jesus because he's returning soon. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is a new prophetic word from the throne room today. Prophecy on Israel's Yom Kippur War with Iran, 2012. Watch the front page of the newspapers. You'll see Bible prophecy being fulfilled every day. For the glory be to God.